is gonna be all about the possible reasons why a J1 visa gets denied okay so if you are new to my channel i hope you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel and i'm going to put the link down below for my other two videos regarding about j1 visa so that it will help you as well in the process okay so guys i'm going to start right now all right so number one is sorry guys i do have a copy here just to you know not to miss anything all right so number one is don't be late so guys be professional okay j1 visa interview is something that is really important in the process because if you are late all right they're gonna think that you are not being professional and it's important as a trainee that you are being professional all the time right so yeah just make sure that you are maybe an hour early or 45 minutes early before the interview itself all right so number two when you are lining up just make sure that you are not doing anything like un unnecessary um actions like picking your nose like constant touching your face your hair yeah something like that and do not do your makeup like putting some lipstick something like that on the embassy itself all right so make sure to not do that okay so number two make sure that all your supporting documents are complete as i've mentioned in my previous um, videos guys your supporting documents siguro hindi naman sila kailangan lahat but make sure na you actually bring everything na connected with your J1 visa application just in case for example your bank account they don't actually um, need it in the embassy but what if they have follow-up questions regarding about that upon looking in your application so they might need it as well so don't ever forget um, bringing all the documents supporting documents to actually in uh, supporting documents in the US Embassy okay so number three is make sure that there is no false information so kung ano yung pin, uh, pinila pa yung application form and pag tinanong kayo sa embassy make sure na magtutug na sila make sure that it's consistent okay kasi if it's not they're gonna think that you are lying about something and lying for them is not really forgivable, alright? Because um, they might think that you're actually um, going to do some bad things in the US, alright? So the next one is failing security check. So make sure you guys, you don't have any, um, what do you call this? Uh, if you went to a country for um, visiting or if you went to US before make sure that you don't have any um, like overstaying in the US for example you had your um, internship or your um, work and travel um, internship make sure that you did not overstay all right make sure that you kayo on time because if not it's gonna be super hard for you to pass and I think Yung iba nga may travel ban pa siya, as far as I know. I'm not really sure about it, but yeah. So yun, do not overstay. Even if pag nakapasaya, pag nakapasaya kayo this time and you're planning to go to other countries, to US again, make sure not to overstay para hindi kayo mahirapan kumuha ng visa, alright? So the next one is strong family ties. It's super important yan, not only in the US, pag mag- um, a apply kayo na student visa. Um, I think it's the same one with Canada and Australia as well. So strong family ties is important because it makes you um, and the the consul makes uh, the consul is actually thinking that you're actually going back to the Philippines because you have strong family ties in here. For example, your family, your whole family is here. All right, so that's a good start. All right. If you have other families like your aunt um, is living in the US, it's okay. It doesn't really matter. Just say yes if they ask you if you have family. But yeah, if you have your whole family in here, like your father, your mother, it's really a good plus as well. 
And then, um, of course, what else for the strong habit? Your business. For if you have businesses, you're like continuous business, sha. Yeah, that's one of the um, possible factors as well. Other is um, what else? Your properties. If you have a house here, property, um, house, car, something like that that you have in here, it can actually def it will definitely um, gonna help you, alright? Or it's gonna be a plus as well in your visa application. So next is don't overshare, okay? So when it comes to oversharing, make sure at the date you pass on yung one question is one answer only. Don't overshare or do not um don't go overboard. Go don't go overboard with the questions, okay? For example, if they ask you um what is your previous job, make sure that um you're just gonna tell them your maybe your last previous job. If for example, if you have a lot of them, don't actually share everything especially if you have a lot of good um experiences right because hey guys if you have a lot of experience here in the philippines now why are you going to us for a training or an internship right so make sure don't go overboard the questions and um, make them feel that you actually need some knowledge about the program, right? So that you'll be able that that is one of your reasons to actually go in the US to actually learn, right? So yeah. The other thing is your bank account. Um is a just a pinaka important because they are actually looking at it if you are very if you are capable, right? If you're capable of um if you're capable of su surviving the life in the US as well, alright? So, don't think na uh, we do have stipend or salary, something like that. Don't mention salary. Yeah, we do have stipend that can actually um, help us survive our daily living. Don't mention that. It should be on your bank account. It should be sufficient to actually live in the US, alright? So, the next one is don't come unprepared. So why why unprepared? You have to be knowledgeable, especially in your training plan, okay? Your training plan is very important. Not just uh, memorizing the phases like banquets, events, and you're just gonna think that, okay, what are like your personal um, personal knowledge about your um, this phase as okay? You must actually read and know what are the job descriptions and responsibilities that are actually in your training plan, okay? Hindi to pwedeng um, stock knowledge lang, okay? So you have to actually learn about it. And also, um, your rights. I think they're actually giving out pamphlets outside the embassy while you're waiting so that you'll know what, what your right is. So, actually, nag sila. Um, this. Yun, siya sa For example, yung ma, um, what do you need to uh, what number do you need to call whenever you have emergencies, what are your rights, something like that. So you have to actually know that as well. Actually, ko na yan. What, so for emergencies, of course, you actually need to call for 911. Something like that. Okay? So the next is don't share that you really want to save money, okay? Well, I'm gonna tell you guys. Are you gonna save money when you are having J1? Yes, definitely. Sipag ang kailangan mo. Sipag. If you are a hard worker, you're gonna, you're gonna definitely um, gonna get the higher money. And of course, save. And then shop as well. I'm gonna tell you that. But guys, I'm not... I'm gonna go ahead and um, put out another video about your expenses and your possible savings that you can have while having this day one visa, uh, day one internship as well, okay? So, next thing is, patapas na tayo guys. So, incomplete documents, yun nga, um, as, as I've said earlier, 
you should go there prepared with your supporting documents. Hindi pwedeng kulang pa lang. And, yun guys, uh, just make sure that you bring everything that um, that is connected. Any single thing. Alright? Don't, um, baka hindi naman kailangan. Don't say that. Just go ahead and actually bring everything. So, next thing. Never give a hint that you want to work there or stay there for, um, like, overstay. So, guys, it's really hard. Na much better if you're gonna go back here in the, uh, in the Philippines and then just apply for a tourist visa. Something like that. Or apply for another internship as well, okay? So, make sure that you are going back here in the Philippines. Kasi, it's... For example, you have other plans like go, um, studying in Canada or studying in other countries like Japan, um, Taiwan. Because I do have that plan. So make sure that um, if you have those plans, don't actually give them a hint of overstaying, guys. Because overstaying for them is not forgivable as well. Right? So if you are actually giving them a hint that, yeah, I want to work um, in the US. You, you guys, major option with the console. So make sure that you are actually um, making them feel that you are there for the experience, for the one year experience and the culture. You want to experience their culture as well, alright? So the next thing is um, don't expect to earn a lot of money, okay? Well, you're gonna earn a stipend that is good enough. Well, the reality is, if you are really hard worker, yes, you can save money at the laga. I'm telling you that. But yeah, if don't when you're going to the embassy, don't actually think of the money. Think of the experience that you're going to have in the US, okay? The next thing is it's strong proof that you clearly need a second training okay because diba, we do have inter uh, we do have internships here in the philippines we do have for and um, for in some cases for those people who are actually have an experience job experience okay so you need a clear proof that you really need to have this training in the u.s okay for them to actually approve your visas and lastly guys be positive it's okay to be nervous get afraid because guys, um, I've heard a lot of stories um, after our batch and our batch. Sabi nila, it's getting harder and harder to actually get a visa, especially J1 visa. Um, my, I was planning to actually um, come back, but my agency actually told me that it's gonna be hard for me because I was a trainee before. Okay, I need to have a lot of like two years, two year more experience as a supervisor, something like that. It's gonna be um, hard to actually go back there when you are a trainee. So get started after you graduated or start with work and travel. Okay, guys, that's gonna be a tip that I or advice that I can give. You, okay, so mga students out there, don't actually hesitate to have your internship after you graduated. Okay, it's gonna be a good experience. Okay, so mga nag hesitate dyan, go lang, um, do not hesitate, go for it. Kasi, guys, um, I'm telling you, we're not from a rich family. Actually, ni loan lang namin yung money, like everything, ni loan lang namin yung money, and nabali ko naman siya. Just make sure that on your first month you work hard for um, in getting the money back, something like that. Okay. So on my ch next ch uh, video, I'm going to um, I do have another two videos that are coming up about J1 B. So one is the expenses of a daily ex uh, monthly expenses, and then the other one is choosing the right. Um, agency for J1 visa, okay? So, I'm going to recommend two of my um, two agencies that are really hands-on regarding about this tried and tested kumbaga. So, yun guys. So, if you want, go ahead and click the bell button so that you'll get notified whenever, okay? So, have a good day and I hope this will help you a lot in Achieving your um, American dream, alright? Bye bye!